Rohit has a question. How is waking state like a dream? Is there a difference between waking and dream state? There are similarities and there are differences. The first difference you will notice is the dream state comes from your memory, which you call as my memory. And the waking state comes from the universal memory. This is the major difference. The second is of the senses. The physical senses are active in the waking state. In the dream state, non-physical senses are active, which are simply extension of the physical senses. And there are more differences, like the waking state has more rules, it is more stable, it is very slow. And the dream state has almost no rules except a few, and it is very dynamic and almost meaningless. The meaning remains only for one or two seconds in the dream state. So... Still, fundamentally, both are projections of the mind. One is the projection of the universal mind, other is the projection of a small part in the universal mind. There are more similarities like when you wake up from the night dream, you land in the waking state. But it seems that the waking state does not end, but it ends at the time of death. Just like you do not remember all of your dreams, you do not remember all the lives that you have taken. If you become aware in the dream, you will be able to remember it. If you write, write them down and so on, the techniques that are prescribed, if you give importance to them, if you are aware in them, same way, if you are aware in the waking state, you will observe a continuity of states. This is the Turiya state. So then it will become a one continuous dream for you instead of fragmented experiences where one state ends and the other starts. There will be continuous dream-like state forever. So whether that happens or not, you need to experiment, you need to explore. All the methods are given to you already. And for anybody, any spiritual seeker, this is usually the goal that I sh I got the all the knowledge, the required knowledge, the essential knowledge. Now we need to apply it somehow and the application is spiritual, not material. The spiritual application is increase your awareness beyond states. So Dream is a metaphor actually. We should not think that somebody is sleeping and dreaming and will wake up. No, it is simply changing states. Rohit is saying, so nothing is real in a way. No, you are the only reality. You are real. Only you exists. There is no non-existence. The essence only exists. The non-essential does not really exist. So there is only truth. There is only truth. The false comes and goes in the background of truth. When we say nothing is real, we are rejecting it. For what? To arrive at that which is real. If you simply reject it as a dream, then you arrive nowhere. That is why self-realization is required before you can talk about real and real, dream, not dream. There are some people who go on talking like this without knowing the truth. And that is total waste of time. They don't know what they're talking about. Everything is only but reality. That is you. Rohit is asking, is realization an experience? It is simply knowing that my assumptions are, assumptions are not true. If you want to call it an experience, yes, you can call it. But uh, nothing new will be known. Nothing new will happen. Only the old will be dropped. It's a reduction and letting go. If you want to call this whole episode as an experience, then no problem, but there is nothing special. No special experiences will happen. So you can try the three-day program. In three days, you will get the whole knowledge. Check the pinned message. You have gone through 3D. Very good. Is there anything which you did not understand? Whether the realization, self-realization happened or not, whether you were able to see that all the experience is false or not, let us know. I was just wondering how one knows when is self-realized. Then it has not happened, probably. Because it looks from your questions that um, knowledge was not gained. Or there is too much. Probably you understood it at the time. But now the confusion has overtaken. So if, nobody, if a person does not know, yeah, intellectually you know. Everybody says like this. <laughs> when the person did not... Um, does not know whether they, what they are, then uh, probably it has not happened. Nothing was understood. So as you know, there is no intellectual knowledge. There is nothing like this. 
can you give me an example of what you know intellectually just give me one example of that which you know intellectually not really rohit is saying i still feel i am body okay who is witnessing this feeling what is witnessing these feelings and these thoughts yes is it intellectual or is it actually the case is this witnessing only an intellectual thought in your mind or is it actually happening yeah then why did you say it is an intellectually intel example of the intellectual knowledge why did you say like that this is intellectual okay number 2 give me second example what do you know intellectually second thing my behavior has not changed accordingly okay should it change is there a law that the behavior should change i think it will help that is your expectation tell me something which you know only intellectually and do not tell me your expectations and whatever you planned of of doing after self realization if you are thinking that i'll take self realization so that i can change my behavior then big mistake nowhere we guarantee this thing that is not the end goal the end goal is destruction of ignorance and beginning of awareness not changing of behavior this body mind machine is a dirt pile of dirt changing it will not help anything dropping it will help you need to drop this form as soon as possible by dropping i mean realize that i am not this form and then whatever behavior is will be naturally there it will change naturally so this is called lowering of standards you have brought down the spirituality into behavior management rohit is asking should it not manifest what should not manifest it is manifested already tell me who you are okay but then there is no difference between me and ignorant person is there you tell me who you are is there a person is there somebody who is ignorant person is there somebody who is knowledgeable person or is there only experiencer in a series of false pictures is there a waking world there, you see there is a lot of drifting i am asking what do you know intellectually give me an example and what are you telling me your expectations which are totally meaningless then you are telling me that the person has not changed when you you surely know there is no person then you are as talking talking about the waking world you surely know there is no waking world there is no world so how do you want it to manifest first drop your ignorance dropping of the ignorance is the manifestation if the picture on the screen changes from one color to another color it is still a false picture it is still a picture that which is unchanging is the reality which is already manifested which is the screen shift to the screen shift your shift your identification to the screen now it does not need to improve it does not behave there is no world for it and there is no person there that is how it is manifested whatever you are calling intellectual is your confusion it is not knowledge so people who don't get who who say that i have only intellectual knowledge they have only intellectual confusion knowledge is never intellectual it is directly present knowledge is that which remains when the ignorance is removed so why don't you remove your ignorance when you were told that all these things are false and uh, there is still sticking to these things clinging to the person to the world to the behavior which means that you are treating the self realization as a therapy as some kind of medicine the truth is not a medicine for a person if you want behavior changes and if you want some improvement in the waking world the answer is in the material world psychology psychiatry medicines earning a lot of money good relations what works in the illusion is illusion truth that does not work there what is the role of screen in the movie nothing it simply shows the movie it does not improve the movie you are the screen realize this is this intellectual no your confusion is intellectual so your rohit's case is very typical many people tell me that look i know all these things are dwaita and all non duality it's all intellectual and when i ask them give me an example of something which is intellectual they end up telling me the truth and when i ask them isn't it the truth then they drift into some other subject actually the intellect has not stabilized enough even to dwell on the truth so what is the cure here purification purification is your cure so is it okay to get angry when when we disagree with someone 
Does the experiencer get angry? Does the experiencer disagree with anybody? Is there anybody else except you? Who decides what is okay? If I tell you it's okay, whether it will become okay? Or if you ask somebody else because, you know, this guru is not good enough, he is not telling me the answers. The other guru says, no, no, it's not okay. Don't be angry. Will you adopt that behavior mindlessly? So introspection is needed. Now you were told what is the truth. You want it to manifest. Then dwell in the truth. Abide in the truth. Is it okay to get angry and all? Who cares? The experiencer is never angry. There is nobody else. There is no disagreement or agreement. It is all false pictures. What is okay in false and what is good in false? What is bad? What is ethical in false and what is unethical in the false? What behavior is good? Meaningless. Meaningless questions. Abide in the truth. That is best. It is okay to abide in your true nature. Not okay to leave it. So rise above the pettiness of life. You are a spiritual seeker now and you are on the path of knowledge. Realize that there is no world, there are no people, nobody is behaving anything. You are not the person. The person is doing its pro- job of executing its program, stored program. It's a machine. If there is improvement, it's okay. If there is no improvement, perfectly okay. It is dirt. It will become dirt in the end. You already know it has already become dirt. <laughs> there is no time also. At this point, many people think... What is the use of it then? No use. Use is an illusion. What is the use of spiritual knowledge? Nothing at all. The real knowledge is useless. Only the false is useful. It is useful for the false person. The individual that is that you think is manifested, it is not the manifested. You say it is not the real part. For the experiencer, which is the manifested, which is the real part, is it, nothing matters. Nothing is useful and nothing is useless. It is beyond concepts. So many people do this mistake. They try to use the spiritual knowledge for pettiness. Like what should I eat? How many times should I eat? (laughs) And now I am self-realized. Now whether should I wash my hand with this soap or that soap? You see the intellect has not matured enough to even realize what they have received. They have received a big diamond. And they are using the diamond as a, you can say, garden stone or something, you see. Keep it in the pot somewhere. That is its use, isn't it? To tell everybody that I am self-realized. Many people are doing this. They tell their stories, long stories of how they got their self-realization after many years of struggle. After reaching this great guru in the Himalayas, they finally... Stupidity, isn't it? It is very simple. You are the experiencer. Abide as the experiencer. Two lines. Rest of it is confusion. Knowledge is always simple. The false, it uh, acts as if it is important. It's totally useless also. The person will act as if, you know, it's a very important thing that I got self-realized. There is no importance of it. There is no use of it. Rohit is saying, I will not have any questions because any question will take me away from the experience. Yes, uh, the knowledge should make you silent. Not because you don't want to ask anything, but because there is nothing to ask now. Nothing remains to be done once you get these three days, three kinds of knowledge. Now, those who are new, they will see that they get the impulses from the mind all the time. This knowledge is useless. I want more. The next bigger course, the next bigger program. This guru is not telling me that which is useful. Next guru. This path, boring. I want something which is explosive, roller coaster path, and so on. So, those who do not develop awareness, they will get caught in this storm of the mind. Actually, it comes back with double force because it realizes that I am dead now. I was killed. I was seen as false. So, it comes back. All you need to do is sit down quietly and dwell in the knowledge. Let these thoughts, they come and go because they are completely meaningless. My relations are not improving. I got self-realized. I am committing all the mistakes. <laughs> My behavior is not improving. It's okay. That is not you. This much you should remember. That is the only thing to remember when we say, you know, remember or be in awareness, remembrance. It is just one line or two lines. I am the experiencer. Everything is false. Everything is an illusion. This much is the remembrance.
Now nothing remains to be done, nothing remains to be said. And the mind will say, all this is intellectual, I have read it many times. But it will never say that, you see, it has all the evidence that it is real. So whenever you get these doubts, you should ask me or somebody else or whoever has done your program and you will be brought back on track that whatever you are thinking as intellectual is the only real and whatever you thought is real is actually garbage. The garbage is the expectations and assumptions that it will do some kind of miracle to me. You are present as the experiencer, that is the biggest miracle. Now you want to change this dream, these flying pictures, is that a miracle? No, <laughs> that is childish. I will do this so that I remain the experiencer. No, childish. You are the experiencer. You don't need to do anything to remain it. Question will take me away from there. Me means what? Is there a second you which is not the experiencer? Which, which will be taken away from this first you which is the experiencer? You see, still identification with something else other than the experiencer. Realize you are the experiencer then nothing can be taken away from you. And it is actually nothing. So already some everything has been taken away from you. And that which remained is you. 